Brother Robbie, and it's a uh, thought about the scripture this and a proverb it says in the safe it says in multitude of counselors there is safety amen and one of the things we've been talking about a lot lately just trying to build on a few different things about end times uh, eschatology and uh, spiritual warfare and the leaders of the nations and things like this and about mindsets and how mindsets um, is really really hard to keep your mind on track and the Bible wants us to learn how to train ourselves to be in prayer um, so we can have a spiritual strong point with the Holy Spirit and also for uh, going into the word and Jesus says my words are spirit and there's something about things when you know it it sounds like home to you this doesn't just sound like any old spirit you say no that's home that's the Lord and it just causes you to be strong so when you when you get around different kinds of people you can kind of tell like what they're about for pretty quickly it doesn't take that long to figure out kind of where their convictions are whether their words and their spirit really matches in their own convictions but you know so if you're around a lot of counselors who have, who live with a mindset that is very convicted have a very strong convictions in their life it's going to be really easy to think godly thoughts around them that's why there's safety in the multitude of counselors because there's a lot of strong minds that are really disciplined in their lives and so you get around a lot of those kind of people and it's just like so easy to think clear thoughts that's why it's good to be around a lot of godly thinking I was just talking to a brother last night and he was just talking like man I don't really have a fellowship a lot that much so it's really nice to be able to kind of you know hang out a little bit and it's true it's really really helpful because sometimes your own mind you just get beat down in your own mind by the enemy and you're thinking thoughts that is not not really sound you know you're thinking maybe true thoughts but the enemy uses them against you and causes you to have a lot more worry and anxiety and you're just getting into the five deadly D's, discouragement, disheartenment, disillusionment, and the other two which I forgot, but we get the, we, the idea is that our minds don't stay on track the way we want to be. We're born again Christians. If you really have passed from death to life, and you know you had a beginning and he who has no beginning, then the great thing about it is that you're only going to be really feeling at peace when you know that he is what your mind is really seeing at the moment in, in, in your own surroundings right now, you know, your own life and your own plans and your own, your own day, is it really laid in that? And you will feel that peace when you really are laying in that and, and you're really just resting in that, in the infinite, amen. So um, I believe that's why the Bible says that it's that there's a safety in that because just being around different people, their mindsets can change. You know how people, if there's a lot of people who are thinking bad thinking, they have bad plans, they could all be talking nice, but you could walk in the room and yet you could still feel something doesn't feel right in here. I can feel that the, the, everything looks right, but we are not looking at only the natural. We're looking at the spiritual and we have a sense inside of us called an intuition and a conscience and an inner man that knows how to navigate through things that we can't physically see because there's not everything in this world is physical. So God made it possible for us to physically see with our eyes and also with the eyes of the spirit or the eyes of the soul or the eyes of our inner man to be able to sense when something is, a, if the spirit is not right in the house because the mindset is off track you know the Bible talks about people who have plans on hurting people or plans on doing evil uh, feet that's quick to mischief and things like that if that is the mindset of the people if they want to listen to bad music and movies and have their mind all over the place and it really doesn't feel like the it doesn't feel like a prayerful atmosphere it doesn't feel very uh, worship or praise atmosphere or fellowship atmosphere you can tell pretty quickly this doesn't feel like spiritually right to me so our minds, you get around people whose minds is off track, enemies can go through mindsets, they can camp there, they can land in there, they can sit on that thing and cause, you can feel that in the spirit, you said something doesn't feel right, there's a bad spirit in this house, there's a bad spirit in here because someone's thinking wrong and it's taking dominion in that atmosphere, it's taking the dominion in that room. That's why the Bible says it's safety in the multitude of counselors because a lot of good men who are training to be strong in their minds, keep their minds always strong in the Lord, keeping a conscience clear before God and before man. I believe it's really, really important. I believe it's really, really powerful, you know, how, how we can keep our minds on track and not be getting in weird places. Um, when, you know, you're testing the spirits, you can discern something doesn't seem right, but we get around the right kind of minds. That's why it matters what kind of minds you get around. People, oh, what difference does it make? You're, as long as you're not hurting anybody, it's not true. 
the, the mindsets do matter because different spirits will, will go with those different kinds of mindsets. People think wrong, they start getting bad doctrine. It usually starts to end up messing up everything. A little bit of leaven, leaven at the whole lump. One, one kind of wrong thinking, taking too seriously, can start to leaven your whole theology and mess up and bring a wrong spirit in the house or a wrong person in the church, one wrong person or one wrong uh, doctrine. Like the Pharisees, uh, the leaven of the Pharisees is the teachings of the doc, uh, teaching of the Pharisees. And also bad people in the church who is living in sin and believing wrong and preaching false doctrine. Um, just because they are wrong and their mind is wrong. It's still a wrong mindset and it still brings a bad spirit in the house. So that's why the Bible says that in the multitude of counselors there is safety. Amen.